He's not always predictable in his behavior, but he will keep you on your toes and keep your kids happy so they're not always glued to their iPads. That's great. One thing we didn't really get to see at Mobile World Congress would be robots. And that's why I'm so excited to see so many robots here at IFA in Berlin. Now, LG has introduced a line of robots called CHLOE, which stands for Clever Operating Intelligence. And these robots are really for industrial use, but they're beautiful to look at. Starting with, let's say, this is the CleanBot, which helps you clean your entire company or building. I could use it for my apartment, except that would take up my entire apartment. This is the suit bot. It's an exoskeleton that helps people lift heavy objects. So you need an actual human in there. So it's not a standalone robot. If you're ever worried about robots taking over the world, don't worry about it. This robot still needs a human body in it. You feel better? If you're not ready for your robot to be your companion, at least let it do some work for you. So the Sandbot introduced a line of robots that are really for retail use. Like for example, this one has a few functions. One is it can be a greeter at your store. It can also give out product information, marketing messaging, kind of replacing some of your staff, but also making the whole process more efficient. And lastly, it has a function to dance. So if you're just trying to attract more customers into your store, this is a robot to do that for you without paying someone an hourly wage. The Sandbox Max is a much larger robot and its main function is to tow objects and help you lift heavy objects. So it can tow up to 880 pounds, I believe. Like I'd be happy if I can lift 80 pounds. Sony reintroduced the iBo earlier this year at CES. I had a chance to meet him then, and he's still just as cute and sweet now. Some major improvements Sony did are better sensors. The dog basically simulates a real dog, and it will adapt his personality to the way you want him to be. So he becomes your personalized pet. And I guess for some people, the best part is he won't uh, lash out at you. He doesn't have any emotional tantrums. He doesn't need to go to the bathroom. All the benefits of having a real dog without, you know, all the negative effects. Here in the robotics hall, we're learning that robots don't just have to provide a service for you, they can always provide companionship as well. So here we have Nua Robotics. They came out with the Danny robot. That's a companion robot for your kids. This robot isn't just any companion. It's AI enabled, of course. So it learns the landscape around your house. It's basically like a Roomba that scopes out your room and your place first. It also learns object recognition, so it knows if it's bumping into a human being versus furniture. And eventually, it'll learn your personality and your kids' personalities, and it'll also develop a personality of its own. He's not always predictable in his behavior, but he will keep you on your toes and keep your kids happy so they're not always glued to their iPads. That's great. Danny Robot has mastered micro expressions. So it ranges from happy to sad to angry to upset. I mean, it really elicits some sort of emotional response from the human being. I look at him and I'm like, what's wrong? Why are you so upset? You seem so agitated. <laughs> Forget a companion robot for kids. This is a companion robot for adults too. I think I could be here for like five hours.